Uh, flight was great. The jet handled beautifully. Uh, the weather was gorgeous. We got a lot of great shots uh, going down Pensacola, the cradle of naval aviation, and uh, coming in here into Eglin. The weather was beautiful. Couldn't ask for a better flight. Uh, the F-35 offers the Navy that fifth generation strike fighter that uh, we desperately need to um, integrate into the carrier strike group. So it'll give us that day one capability and uh, really just bring us to the next level with the Marines and the Air Force as well. Uh, the excitement's great. Uh, the, the sailors here at VFA 101 have been really excited about getting the airplane. Um, they've been working really hard to make sure that we get a great product here, uh, and they did a great job bringing it in today. Um, we're really excited to work with our sister services, the Marines and the uh, Air Force. Uh, it's great to be here integrated with them because we all can learn from each other and uh, succeed. The ground-based training, we've got our second class going through now of pilots that are going through the Air Force syllabus, and then uh, they'll move into flying the airplane, so the Air Force is helping train our pilots. And then uh, the maintenance training syllabus, actually getting the airplane here is, is, a, uh, is a huge step for us because it gets us an opportunity to actually get some hands-on maintenance training for our troops working on the airplane. We are very excited to get the final piece of the puzzle today to get our first F-35C. It enables us to start full rate production of the training of all three services and our coalition partners around the world. The training experience has been second to none. It's been absolutely phenomenal. The first time that I jumped in the airplane, I was ready to go fly. There was nothing that the airplane could throw at me that I wasn't ready for, and that's a, a tribute to the training system. The F-35 is a fifth generation fighter. It's the first fifth generation fighter for international export. So it allows us to train very closely with our three services, our coalition partners around the world, and we're gonna train like we fight, and we're not gonna fight alone. This aircraft has an immense capability in terms of what it can uh, uh, perceive, both in, in all the different uh, uh, RF spectrums and IR spectrums, and it's going to be able to populate that through a network-centric network manner uh, and share that to all other platforms, not just airborne, but also our Aegis cruisers, uh, basically put that in the battle net and it's going to enhance all the capabilities uh, within the Naval uh, Carrier Battle Group. Uh, to help us uh, completely go.